Hey everybody, Jay Marino here. Welcome back. This is Quagmire, a custom campaign for StarCraft II. Heading into Mission 2, 5th Column. I really enjoyed the first mission using that TAC Recon Squad. I don't know what that initial loading screen was, but it scared me significantly. So I'm happy we're back to our classic Brood War from Brood War intro cinematic. At some point during the Guild Wars, did someone make a 200 supply worth army of fire bats? Perhaps we'll be the ones. Probably not. Good work by the tax squad last night. Intel's been debriefing the rescued marines. So far they ain't gathered much about how the situation unfolded. The sense we get is that these people were overrun before they knew it was happening. The enemy seems pretty organized for a bunch of paramilitaries. Some people talk briefly about their time in the POW camp. They mention a bizarre character wearing some type of gas mask. A sadistic loon seemingly in charge of the place. Apparently this guy showed up to interrogate them. We don't have a clear picture of what went down. Nobody was able to talk about it coherently. Asking for any details seemed to trigger panic attacks. The Navy shrinks are saying these people have been severely tortured and we're unlikely to learn much more from them. This psycho messed him up pretty bad, and we have a pretty good idea who he is. Foreman Edgar Pita calls himself Kaiser. Delusions of grandeur. Involved in every reprehensible act you can imagine. Drug trafficking, human trafficking, you name it. He might be taking orders from an overseer, but as far as we know, this fucking animal is their commander in the field. Good news is he's a complete whack job. Bad news? He's a complete whack job. We have no idea what he's liable to do. General, we have an incoming transmission from Major Harkins. Patch it through. This is Rabies. We're in contact with hostile mercenaries on the western flank, ten clicks north of the perimeter. We're moving in to flank the enemy and block their way to the north. We need backup from the 32nd ASAP to prevent their escape. Rabies, this is Dark Horse. Did you say mercenaries? Affirmative. Well equipped. Have you secured the town south of your position? Negative. No time for that right now. Rabies, we need that town secure. Hold position, stand your ground, and wait for backup. Negative. We're not going to let them escape. Rabies, you risk being exposed out there. Hold your position. That's a direct order. That's a negative, sir. We're already on the move. Do I have backup or not? God damn it. Rabies, be advised. I'm sending in Jackknife to assess the situation. If they smell trouble, you're on your own. Roger that. You're the boss, Chief. This guy. Larimer, I need your eyes on that town. He better hope it's clear. Corona, be ready to move. End of transmission. I'm still not clear who all the people are. I think Corona and Welsh are part of the Marine Division. Larimer is obviously the TRS head guy, and Leeds is in charge of all of them, as far as I can tell. Okay, aerial recon. This is cool, but it's really hard to tell how, how this is going to be helpful. Like, I think these are bunkers, and I think these are turrets, but I honestly, I think these are those missile turrets that are different, but I really can't tell. Again, it's all about context. Like, the camera angle's different, and I don't know where we're going to start. All right. Intel. Small mining town, unknown enemy garrison, rocky suburban, unknown enemy presence, expected, light to moderate, civilian presence, unknown, town inhabitants expected to be present. The terrain provides good defensive options against attacks from the south. Movement is limited north of the AO by rough terrain. Due to mountainous terrain, reliable intel on enemy presence is unavailable this time. Great. Great. Okay, so here are all of our KMC, not KMC, these are my CMC folks. Is this what's going to be available to me this mission? Like, APC, Siege Tank, Avenger is different. Heat-seeking missiles. Primarily an air superiority fighter, but is also capable of engaging ground targets. Often used to escort troop ships. It sounds like a proto-wraith, if anything. Alright, we're familiar with these. Pirates. Riflemen. Uh, I assume better. Riflemen drone. High explosive device. Kamikaze boosters flying straight towards the target and exploding. I guess if we see these, we have to make sure we have enough anti-air because they'll just suicide into us. Okay, I guess let's go. It sounded like he's sending in Jackknife slash Larimer first. We already had a, a TRS mission. I didn't assign my points, though I don't think that's that important because we had assigned them at the end of the last mission, right? We gave ourselves extra frag grenades and extra health kits. Recon the town. I'm gonna hotkey these guys separately. Say the word. 
I think we want to focus on trickster scouting before we do anything. Redford leads. Okay, well, commanding officer of the 32nd Marine Division. Sure. Okay, sounds good. Um, let's lead with trickster first. You know what? Here, you can go through it. You can read this if you'd like. Go ahead and pause if you want to read this. You could go back and read uh, Leeds's as well. Don't waste my time. Diesel. Yeah, what's up, tough guy? Trickster. Drake. Roast. There you go. So if you want to go through and pause and read those, you can. This map is relatively small. Okay, I see an enemy already. Let's see if maybe we can get some vision on it and then snipe it with Larimer. Assuming it's infantry. Grenadier. Okay. Let's see if we can take him out from this range. Yes, we can. Oh, that's so good. I'm trying to get in the... I want to get in the habit, at least, of, of using these guys. One thing that would be really nice... As we scout around, I'll talk about this. I'm just looking out for anything red on the mini-map, because the only scouting we have right now is the radar and trickster. Is it, their, their shields, I wish, were blue on their health bar, because it's hard to distinguish what is myth missing health and what is just shields. And the shields regenerate, so... Uh, let's turn them all on hold fire for now, please. This doesn't look good. Well, somebody secured the shit out of this town. This is a little more than airstrikes. A lot of these people have been burned pretty bad. Our doctrine's not too picky about collateral damage, but this is past that. Could be Mercs who did this. Ain't a lot of other possibilities, but what do they accomplish by massacring these people? Could be these folks tried to rise up against him. These dirt farmers? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Right back to it. Recon the town. Recon the town. Okay, well, I'm going to lead with Trickster, as I've been saying. Like, I'd much rather have way in advance notification of enemies, but it doesn't seem like there's anything in this town, so we're just kind of looking for something. Let's see. Some resources up here. I mean, not a, not enough to for me to assume that there's going to be a, a macro section. Maybe it's just like a little mining town. Still nothing on the mini-map, though. Just everyone move up a little bit. Identify target. Fortified enemy position. Three enemy APCs closing in from the north. 800 meters. Okay, I see him moving. Quick save. Set up an ambush. Let's light him up. Where are they coming from? Okay, I see them. Looks like they're coming down this road. So if we do it like this and this. And then maybe we... Okay, so... Hang on. Pause. We're gonna... Use suppressing fire back here. Larimer, we're going to throw down a hollow decoy in the back. I think that's all I'm going to do for right now. Okay, this is going well. We got the hollow decoy. Let's lock down this. Back up Drake. Okay, now Trickster, I'm going to evasion protocol and then shift Q up so that we can disable this with a sticky bomb. And then I'm going to empty the tank, auto-attack in that direction. So it seems like when the APCs die, they empty everything inside of them. Which is interesting. Okay, that wasn't too bad, though. I did use a lot of resources to do it. Dark Horse, this is Jackknife. We've reached enemy lines north of the town and destroyed an enemy convoy moving south. This town is clear. Roger that, Jackknife. Good job. Proceed east. Continue to monitor the en enemy and make sure we don't get flanked. Bulldog will take it from here. Dark Horse out. Aye, aye, sir. Now, there was a big resource field to the left, so it's possible... Yeah, it looks like we may actually have a macro section unless we're going to continue 
with TRS supporting these folks. No. That is not the case. We're just gonna... We're just gonna get going here. John Corona. Captain of Alpha Company. So I think it's Leeds and then Corona and the other guy in the briefing are like company leaders under Leeds and then there's the TRS, which is separate. Which may still be part of 32nd Marine Division. Okay, we know how the eight stations work because of the tutorial. Outposts serve as a resource drop-off point. Outposts don't provide supplier have any, have the ability to construct SCVs, but they're cheaper and faster to build than command centers and useful for remote expansions or picking up small mineral deposits scattered across the landscape. Outposts can be dismantled to refund roughly 60% of their cost. That's cool. That's really interesting. We'll have to see how much those cost. A crude facility for storing and processing raw materials. Outposts are relatively cheap. Yeah, 175, they build quickly, and it, you can recycle them. That's really cool. And then we've got John Corona. He's got grenades. Only three. I, I assume he can't... He's not supposed to die. Like, he can't die or we lose the mission. Orbital strike, I have a... I have a... Didn't I put a point into this? Calls in an orbital bombardment at the target location. Five shots, each dealing 60 damage. Requirements, orbital strike. Do I not have... Do I not have this? I thought I had a point in this. What are my points? I, I didn't look before I started the mission. Whoops. Probably should have done that. Uh, let's get a factory straight away. They, they gave us a ton of resources at the beginning, so... I'm fine with that. So establish a forward base. I don't know what that entails. We're going to find out. So, what is this? Barracks always has grenades in stock for the company commander. It costs resources. That's nice. Bulldog, this is Jackknife. We've got eyes on enemy positions. Looks like they're mobilizing. They might be about to probe your lines and try to find a way to escape. Uh, okay. Well, let's get a bunker set up. We also have some mines left over from from our buddy, so that's good stuff. Copy that, Jackknife. Thanks for the heads up. Just making marines right now where you just need more resources. I could come and set an outpost up uh, over here. Rabies, this is Bulldog. We've secured the town. What's your sit rep? APC, Siege Tank, Goliath. Okay, we can't build those really awesome uh, long-range things. This is Rabies, holding tight. We blocked the enemy's path to the north. Their defenses are weak on this side, so we're preparing for an assault. Standing by. So we need an academy for an aid station. Not enough minerals. Copy that. We'll hold them off on our end. Out. Machine shop. Oh, no. <laughs> Ah, crap. <laughs> we have to control both bases. Uh. Gross. Okay. That's one of my least favorite things, controlling two bases at this... Like, this is the first macro map of the game, too. All units be advised. Intel has marked possible enemy exfil routes on the grid. Transmitting data now. Found a little expansion here. Should scout out as best we can. Now, uh, let's head on over here and take this. Prevent enemy, escape, destroy enemy base. So, it looks like they can come at us down a couple different lanes. This seems like it... I don't want to say it's complicated, but there's a lot... There is a decent amount going on. Y'all call for an exterminator? What? I didn't. You should take a hard look at New intel available. Welsh? Oh, we got a, a big dump here. Okay. Yeah, okay, so Welsh, this other guy, Bravo Company Commander. So yeah, so Leeds is the head of 32nd with Welsh and Corona under him. We got Welsh here. Yeah, Leeds is in charge of 32nd. Again, you can pause and read all this if you want. The Keyhall Legion is a totally different force under Harkins, which is why he didn't necessarily listen to Leeds, I guess. Keyhall Legion infantry units have a slightly faster rate of fire than regular infantry. Legion firebats also move slightly faster. What? That sounds great. Uh, well, I guess we should set up some defense here. Why do all these guys not have... Oh, you know what? Because don't I have a point in, uh... 
and having uh, their HP increased. Goliath upgrade decreases ground attack cooldown by three. Okay. Uh, so we have to defend these areas. We probably just need bunkers up each of these little lanes. That's all I can think to do right now. Welsh, what can you do? Stimpak, fine. Welsh yells at a friendly unit, increasing its movement speed by 0.7 for 120 seconds. Cannot be used on Welsh's superiors. I got to your name, I got to your ass. Weird. Okay. Well, based on the briefing, it sounds like we want to focus on defense. Additional supply depots required. With our southern base. And we're going to attack from the top. That's just what he had mentioned, though. Hey, and we can we can use our orbital, our 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 aerial intel, right? Remember, we saw those bunkers. Let's get an academy. Okay, good. We can make comset stations, but we need the academy. Good stuff. Okay. Um, let's take a. Well, let's get some. Let's get some depots. I need to scout over here towards the other direction. Let's grab infantry weapons. You know what? No, let's grab structure armor first. Get a machine shop here with more marines. You guys can load up. So we have two up top. Looks like they might try to skirt through this area down here. Or maybe up here. So I'm just going to try to keep making depots in both locations so that we don't get too supply blocked. Right there. More marines. Marines. Tanks. Okay, it looks like in, they can get to us from a few different locations. There's an extra geyser up there. I obviously need to defend this location. I'm going to just set up bunkers and then maybe move some tanks out to these areas later. It's like, let's just do this. And, yeah, having to focus on both bases. And there's, like, different stuff. What is this? Missile turret upgrade... Sight by five, attack rate by two. That's pretty good. Let's grab a comset station here. U-238 shells and stim pack. Lockdown. Can we make ghosts? No. I can't even make a science facility, so I would say just remove that completely from the uh, command card. Uh, let's go ahead and get some aid stations. And we'll move this over here. Awaiting orders. Standing John Corona, don't don't get in a bunker because we've got some abilities for you to use. You've got my attention. Not a problem. Uh, what next? Like what? What should I do? I don't know. Rabies, this is Jackknife. Enemy convoy on the move northbound. Okay, so we get a heads up. Get in there. We don't have a hero up here, at least, so we don't have to worry about that. Eugene Welsh is down. Oh, I, I auto-attacked him, didn't I? Okay, we know about the APC bonuses. Five times for Marines, three times for SCVs. You get the repair, the extra damage. Infantry units such as Marines have a 50% chance to hit when firing at an air unit. Naturally, this applies to enemy infantry as well. This penalty can be mitigated by researching the U-238 shells upgrade. That's cool. Well, I'm, I F2'd, by the way, because I, again, we have a separate force uh, up top, so we have to get our heroes back as soon as possible. Captain Corona is equipped with three grenades, effective against any ground target. You can get a resupply. Yes, we learned this from an APC. Oh, APC. Or barracks. You will automatically move to the nearest. Okay, that's neat. Run Corona. I'm a little nervous about this. Run, 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 run. Just run. Just run. Okay, we need some medics. And then more marines. And then tanks. Oh yeah, and we can sit near the aid station and hold out. Very cool. Alright, let's get siege mode here. And just keep making SCVs. In this location, we need gas. Get healed up. Head on up here and repair or heal up. Mr. Walsh? Not a problem. There's also a geyser. Yeah, I already knew that. I think I'm just gonna 
put bunker a bunker here. And just say screw it with, uh, wait, what is this? APC upgrade decreases the multiplier for range damage taken. Cool. Let's get that. Just gonna start scanning. Yeah, so we don't want to attack through here, from what I can tell. That would be not good. Research complete. Uh, okay, so let's just keep getting extra SCVs up to these other areas. I really like these outposts. That's really, really neat. Very useful. Okay, let's get tanks. And then we're setting this up again. I get double armories. Start these upgrades as well. I need gas. Okay. Another geyser down there. That's probably worth the outpost. Let's set that up. Okay, a lot to, to deal with here. Again, I want to kind of focus on the new stuff. We've got these new heroes as well, but I can't really focus on them right now. Rabies, this is Jackknife. Enemy convoy on the move northbound. Okay, well, I have a lot of Marines, so I, I feel comfortable. Okay, get on over there. I'm going to keep making SCVs. We can repair. Again, it's nice not having to worry about having heroes up here. Having these aid stations at home seems really nice as well. Just, like, one less thing to deal with. I'm going to make two factories up here so that we can... So that we can quickly um, build a, an attacking force. I suppose we may also want to build a starport. Okay, so I guess get this reactive armor for the APCs. Alright, that's built. Do you think anything could like sneak through here? Maybe. Let's get some extra tanks for down here. Again, the only thing I'm going to be spending my resources on down here is defenses. Okay, that's good. U-230 HLs, you got to get separate upgrades for all these as well. It's, again, this is a hassle, unfortunately. What are you doing? Oh, it wasn't done. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Well, we'll get gas in a bit. Don't you worry. All right. I'm feeling okay. Again, we just need, I think, lots of tanks down at the bottom. Guys to repair everywhere. Along with upgrades. Stabilizer med packs. Yes, please. Okay, you can get that too. Just make, uh... Make Marines. What is this? Decreases ground attack cooldown by 0.3. Seems nice. We'll get it now. Okay, we need gas quite badly at this bottom base. We'll get some SCVs to saturate this. I wanted to load up APCs and give those a shot. Bulldog be advised. Enemy convoy moving south. Quick save, because I don't know where. There it is. Okay. I don't know how I feel about Eugene Walsh right now. Base holding this down by himself. He can get healed, though. Yeah, if they want to come that way, that's fine with me. So they, they're going to try to skirt through here. I don't like that. So I guess let's build one more bunker here. How are we doing on supply? Decent. Okay, and we'll get some medics for this group. And vehicle plating, infantry weapons. Let's grab a comset station here. I'm just going to keep, i got to keep scanning as well. I want to make a bunch of extra SCVs to put inside APCs. Oh, they're, okay, so they're building them out of the factories. If we can destroy the factories... Then they'll stop sending these groups, I guess, to attack. That's really nice. See, this doesn't seem particularly well defended, so I think we're, we'd be in really good shape. I guess if they attack me up there, I'm in trouble, but we could 
quickly move our units where necessary. Let's get some APCs. Vehicle weapons. And then we're going to make a bunch of... I mean, we have so much money at this bottom base. I'm just going to build a bunch of extra tanks. And I guess Welsh will put you in here. We got to be careful. Yeah. So it's the same with the TRS. These guys luckily have an extra... Basically an extra life. And we got to be careful with them. Vehicle weapons. Infantry weapons. Just lots of marines to load inside these things. Tanks and tanks. Probably want some more anti-air as well. Let's see. I mean, I'm feeling... This is this is looking okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a starport just because I want to try out those air units. Again, I might be going a little slower than normal just because we can... Uh, well, just because we can. It's the first macro mission. Again, there's a lot you have to deal with, like the, the escaping APCs. And these escape vectors are... I mean, there's a lot of different paths they can take, so it's not really that well uh, telegraphed where you need to defend, which is interesting as well. Let's get this guy set up here, because, like, they could come through here, I guess there, this whole section here. Be advised, enemy convoy moving south. Okay. Let's see, let's see where. I'm just making extra Marines as well. John Corona, move back. Base is under attack. Yeah, see, they're trying to, like, sneak through here as well. I've got the extra... Give, give them the grenade. All right. I've got the extra defense in all these different locations as well. Pull some SCVs off. See, even if they tried to escape this way, though, we've got the defense, so I'm not too concerned there. Okay, upgrades... It's all looking fine. Tanks, tanks, and then I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start loading up these APCs, and we're supply blocked. I've got a lot of SCVs here, so it should be pretty easy to get SCVs inside the APCs as well. So again, it's all, it caps out at five, so there's no point in putting more than five Marines inside an APC unless you're gonna unload them in an enemy base, which I don't really plan on doing. So like that. 150-100. Yuck. You could probably cheese this by just putting supply depots to like fully block this off. And then they'll, it'll take them a really long time to get through. I wouldn't be happy about doing that. I'm just saying I could. Yeah, I don't see myself making fire bats against Terran. just doesn't really seem ideal. So yeah, so there's no way they can get through at the bottom except this area, which you've got the extra de extra defense for just in case anyway. Got a big group here. Welsh is in a bunker. We make extra SCVs to throw inside these as well. Maybe this is Jackknife. Enemy convoy on the move northbound. Well, we've got a very large army sitting here, so I'm not too concerned. Let's start putting SCVs inside this... Uh, They start getting SCVs inside these bunkers. Whoa, the vehicles actually go on... They're on fire. This unit suffers from reduced movement and attack speed and damage until it's repaired. Wow. That's really interesting. Okay, Goliaths and Goliaths. Because we got those Goliath upgrades, didn't we? There was one that was like... Faster attack rate or something versus ground. That seems good. We have to be a little careful because it's possible that they'll attack us down here. Got these. They're not wraiths. Avengers. Okay, that is definitely not a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, where do we want to attack first? Maybe like over here because we would have a high ground advantage. I could also attack that siege tank with my Avengers. Might as well give it a give it a go. Well, that's not what I told you to attack, but all right. Turn around. Turn around. Get out of here. There's nothing to see here. I just want to get rid of this thing. 
There we go. <laughs> so that we can move Complete. down that area. Easy peasy. Again, I realize I'm, I'm going overboard right now. But I, it's also like loading up these APCs is a bit arduous. Like it's it's a little irritating. And there's also there's two slots in the APCs where like unless you wanted to unload groups of infantry in an enemy base, which I can't imagine I'd ever really want to do. Uh, it feels like those extra two slots are a little wasted. Like, it'd be nice if there were, if you could make it so that there are five slots for Marines, and, like, if you had all these Marines selected, there, you could only put five in there. That would be nice. Bulldog, be advised, enemy convoy moving south. Guess we'll get another bunker here. We can't, oh, we can salvage bunkers. Okay, cool. Wow, that was an instant salvage. Did you see that? All right, this seems sufficient. They're coming from over here, too. Okay, I need a science facility, which I can't build. Yeah, just ha making those that they're not even on the command card at all, because you can't make a, uh, a science facility. That would be ideal. Okay, so let's take this group. Don't F2. We gotta. We just got to select this group and start moving our way up there. I'm just going to make a bunch of Goliaths. I'm pretty sure I... I'm, I have overkilled what is necessary to complete this map. But again, we're just messing around a little bit. I destroyed that tank on the high ground. Glad I found that. It seems like this path is going to be ideal because we can sweep down through. Ignore. I'm going to ignore a lot of this stuff. Hopefully, we don't even have to destroy that stuff. We'll see. What are these? Barracudas? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Those, those are the suiciding... Things. Oh, and those are my Goliaths that are coming in. Okay, I thought those were enemies. Gotta be careful because we, we know they're like those missile turret things. These things. Alright, don't worry about the depots. We just gotta, we're gonna brute force our way down this ramp. I think I, I overkilled this map a little bit, so... Wow, what? It seemed like the range that we had to kill those, uh... Incoming suicide bombers was really low. I wonder if we destroy the warehouses if they stop spawning. The APCs? It looked like they were being built out of factories, though. I hear mines. Don't really see any mines, though. This poor Goliath's just going the wrong way. I guess I'll bring in my air units if I need to, but right now, not necessary. Like, I don't even need to siege up. Okay, yeah, we're just going to ignore this this major defensive line for now. Let's just get rid of their production. Ignore the tanks. We don't have any heroes in this group, which is a blessing. That's a cool-looking command center. It's a cool-looking KMC command center. So we... Three of the four of our APCs that we made are alive, and they've all got a lot of HP as well, because they self-repair. Very cool. I brought some SCVs as well to repair my tanks, but this is great. I also like the little... The... You know, the Goliaths. Or just any vehicles, really. That, uh... They take like permanent dam. If if they're too damaged, then they do like, they do less damage and attack slower and move slower and all that. That's neat. So the moment of truth, are we gonna have to destroy all those defenses as well? I hope not. Let's see if maybe these warehouses count. Don't just walk into this stuff. Uh, it's not looking good. We might have to destroy all of it. I guess let's take these things and see if we can pick off tanks on the high ground. Or did I leave a building somewhere? I don't know. Ah, see, there's flat cannons, too. We may just have to, again, we're just going to have to brute force it and, uh, and just run our units into the grinder. Though, I don't think they're going to be trying to escape anymore. So that's a plus. These do more ground damage than wraiths do, that's for sure. 
Uh, okay, just standing by. Just attack into this stuff. I'm not happy about it. I'm gonna unseage these tanks and unseage all like, just take all these units and run them into the the grinder. Bring all these fellas up here. Just attack. Okay, and then you all attack as well. We'll, we'll meet up, and then heroes, there's no point in you joining because you're not that helpful. You're, I think these heroes, unfortunately, are just liabilities, maybe until we get those... Uh, get some more points for, for Corona. Maybe I changed something of him off camera when I was playing. Uh, at the end of my last play session, I was like messing around, seeing what you could do. Mission accomplished. I wonder what triggered that. There's still a warehouse there and a bunker. Maybe it was just like a certain percentage of the total enemy structures needed to be destroyed. I don't know. But that went pretty, pretty well. I'm not thrilled with my uh, 32nd Marine Company commanders right now because, again, they just sort of seem like liabilities. For now. You in charge of the med team, Doc? Yes, sir. Petty Officer Flynn, sir. Any civilian survivors so far? Negative, sir. We've done two sweeps of the area. All dead. Severe burns, gunshot wounds. Many of the victims seem to have been killed from close range. I see. Carry on, Doc. What the hell do you think you're doing, Major? I got results, sir. Had we not taken the initiative, their entire unit would have gotten away. You got some stones, Major. I don't know how you managed to pull this off, but good work. What you're saying, though, is pure speculation. You could have got your whole unit wiped out. What do you know about the massacred civilians? The mercs passed through town. They must have thought the civilians were working with us, providing us intel. They killed everybody, just to be sure. We couldn't save, have saved those people. I expect a full field report of the last 48 hours by 1800. And Harkins? Do not question my orders ever again. Do you understand? Aye, aye, General. CMC Planetary Headquarters, Raiden 3, seven weeks before the Omerta Insurrection. Colonel, I want your regiment at the starport by 1900. The fleet is coming in to handle the necessary logistics. Oh, that's right. I control the dialogue. <laughs> Which is really nice, but I forget sometimes. Every order comes from me until further notice. Don't worry about any paperwork. It's being taken care of. Anything you hear from Division, ignore it and tell him to talk to me. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Hey! Uh, the Magistrate here to see you, sir. Dismiss, Colonel. What do you think you're doing, General? Instead of coming to me, you sneak in here and I have to hear about this from my staff. I have a lot on my plate as it is, and you have the audacity to make me chase after you? Magistrate, what can I do for you? Start by explaining to me what makes you think you can come to my colony and start ordering my people around. I've given no approval of this to you or Tarsonis. Respectfully, Magistrate, I don't need your approval. Didn't they explain this to you yet? You want this done by protocol? <sighs> by order of the Colonial Crisis Act under subsection 1602, I hereby supersede your authority in this matter. So that's how it is. And all you got here is legalese bullshit? Listen, I don't think you have any idea what goes on in these parts. I do my best to keep things locked down here, but how am I going to do that with half a garrison? What do you want, Magistrate? My opinion on it? Our opinions ain't worth shit in this situation. Sonyan takes priority. I don't care about your politics. I've seen enough places like this, and right now there's no imminent threat of any kind of destabilization here. That's all I need to know. 
If there's a problem, we'll take care of it. You'll be notified if there's anything you need to know. Interesting. It's hard to figure out the implications there. Because it's like, on one hand, Leeds wants to take control away from the Magistrate, because it seems like he thinks the Magistrate is probably corrupt and not doing a good job. And maybe, but maybe the Magistrate is like, paying off the KMC to stay away, and when Leeds comes in and takes over, like this, and thinking he's being more efficient and going by the book, that actually is what prompts the insurrection? I don't know. Okay, well, let's go back to the menu. I gotta check my points. I don't know what happened. I, again, I was messing around a little bit after the last mission. Apparently, I selected plus two supplies from supply depots. I have extra points now, though. So that orbital strike ability seems interesting. It costs minerals and Vespine. So this is all just for Bulldog. Interesting. Uh, I feel like I would much rather just go with the first battalion here. Uh, we can maybe pick these at the beginning of each mission instead. TRS has an extra point from this mission as well. That's cool. Because a lot, there's a lot of this stuff I think would be really helpful. I like, now that I've used this group, I feel like I know what would be better. Like, the twin reactor would be great for Trickster, that's for sure. And one thing that Jones clarified in the comments, which you may or may not have seen, is... Um, so, Larimer and Trickster specifically, their energy does regenerate, but every time you use an ability, their max energy decreases. So there is a limit to the amount that, of, of abilities that you can use, not just on a short-term basis based on energy, but a long-term basis based on max energy. So that's another reason why you might want to buy max energy from the resupply guy that may show up about halfway through each mission. Each TRS mission, I should say. And then the other two, uh, Diesel and Drake, their energy bar is indicative of ammunition, as far as I can tell, because their abilities don't cost energy. It's just them shooting, and that's their that's their energy is like how much they can how much they can actually shoot, and then that that regenerates endlessly. Uh, all right, cool, good stuff. We'll head to the line next time. Really enjoying this. This mission was interesting. I think it was a little too much for a first macro mission. You had to control two different bases that had two different I mean, it's not that they had different tech trees, but they had two different tech um, evolutions, I guess, whatever you want to consider, such that you needed to research everything twice. Um, and then they had separate resource bundles as well. So it was like, I, I don't know, that's that alone is kind of irritating, and I don't think it, it sets a good scene for the very first macro mission, because I think a lot of people find that to be rather tedious. I, I understand the point, though. The, the strategy was to attack from the top, and that worked pretty well. But the fact that it was an entirely separate faction, again, makes it, makes it more irritating, I think, than anything else. And then second, the defense can be a little tricky, uh, especially the southern. Like, they can go a bunch of different ways. And, I mean, I started making bunkers right away, but um, there aren't, like, very specific, like, canyon ways that they can take. The terrain allows them to go a bunch of different ways. So it's harder than it seems, I think, to lock down all those locations, if you ask me. It seems like the best strategy is to be aggressive as fast as possible and destroy the factories so that they just simply stop trying to escape at all. Um, but but again, I, I, th I think for a first macro mission, it could be simplified a bit, but it doesn't have to be. I think it was fine. Obviously, I, I performed fine and the mission time was reasonable. It's like 30 minutes. It was like 38 minutes in game time. So normal time is like 30 minutes, which I think is, is pretty decent. All right. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.